improve their hearing after surgery helped change their life. Fox 8's Maya Balai takes us to East Ken to meet these incredible twins. It is so big, it's hugging in the far end. Check this. Reading out loud and actually being able to hear from both ears just got a whole lot easier for these eight-year-old twins. I'm the team. I'm so team. Telling them apart is easy. I don't like blocky. I have earrings and we have the blue glasses. Yeah. What you cannot see is the years of worry their mom, Sabrina Summer, spent wondering about their health. We didn't even know until they were four that they had this Noonan syndrome. So to me, I was just like, my child, one has a heart condition, and now they're both going to be deaf in one ear. How is this going to be? The girls wore hearing aids since they were babies, and that worked until it didn't. Then it was a race against time. We were worried that it wouldn't be done by the time they were eight, just because that was for the, they said for the best results. That's the optimal age by eight. That's the optimal age, Sabrina says, for cochlear implants, a surgically implanted device that helps with hearing. Single sign of deafness uh, was approved as criteria for cochlear implantation uh, less than two years ago. Her girls received their surgeries in January at Cleveland Clinic Children's. The twins, their mom is amazing about making them do the streaming and all the necessary homework at home. Um, and the girls are clearly thriving. We, when we first put on the, um, the hearing aid, it kind of worked our ears, but then later it doesn't. Months after surgery, the girls are doing well, and their hearing is expected to continue to improve over the course of the next year. Right here. Now the twins can focus on their big plan. I'm going to be a cat. I'm going to be an engineer. They're so smart. And their mom is worrying a little less with her girls reacting so well to their new sense of improved hearing. I'm just very proud of them, and I didn't know until I was a mom you could be that proud, but, like, it's it's amazing like feeling just watching them grow up and not struggle as much as I was afraid that they might. In East Canton, Maya Belay, Fox 8 News. Wow, and these children keep on impressing us here today. The girls will spend the next school year learning at home with a focus on exercising to strengthen their hearing. Well, it's a big day for Cleveland today.